Welcome back, folks, to Halloween Hell from Mayor Rashid at the Kim Center. Jeff, what an action-packed evening so far. Here we go, another debuting wrestler here at NWE. What do you know about him, Jeff? Oh, I've been waiting for his debut for quite a while. Zachary Beaulieu from saint victoire de sauden Quebec, Nelson. Have you ever been to saint victoire de sauden Quebec? I have not, Jeff. Oh, it's a beautiful place. Wine stores, cheese stores all over the place. It is a French paradise. You seem uh, quite invested in this uh, newcomer here, Jeff. Is there? Oh, he, in he invited me up to his place to have a nice conversation. Such a wonderful gentleman. You know what? They, everyone in Miramichi should learn a lesson from him what it's like to be a true noble gentleman. Zachary Villiers, let's see if he can get it done in the NWE ring. take his French heritage quite seriously there. He takes everything seriously. Nelson had, you know what? I, he was, I was talking to him earlier about you. He said he didn't like you. What, what, what did I do? What, 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 what? Oh, he, he heard about you. You know, Sammy Claude and Southern Quebec, they get all the information on you up there. No doubt you did not defend, you did not defend my name. Well, why would I do that? Yeah. All right, let's see. Again, newcomer to the NWE ring. Don't let the, uh, the, uh, the look, the, the pageantry fool you. Um, sounds like Jeff's pretty high on him, so I'm oh. sure. Which we disagree on a lot of things that this, this uh, gentleman can definitely get it done in the ring. He has a China Hutch with a smaller China Hutch in it, and it's all wonderful, wonderful stuff. Unbelievable. All right, his opponent coming up uh, has competed in NWE before. We're talking about Slam Dance Tim Lennox. Now, now, see, I, to me, this is. This is just an insult to Zachary Bovia to have to take something like Slam Dance Tim Lennox. Uh, yeah, well, I will agree with you there in the sense that this is definitely a contrast in look and probably in style. We got the, uh, what can only be described as a French aristocrat, aristocrat versus someone who's, uh, I guess, you know, playlist would definitely be based around the, the late 90s in Seattle area. So. You know, when I was up at Zachary Bovia's place, there was a guy like Slam Dance Tim Lennox, but he was cleaning up the pool. There's Tim Lennox, fan favorite, definitely feeling uh, the music, feeling the riffs, as the kids probably call it. <laughs> and uh, chasing uh, Bully out of the ring, I don't think Bully, you uh, really want much to do with uh, Slam Dance Tim Lennox there. But would you? I wouldn't. Man can't dance, has no rhythm whatsoever. Definitely feeling the hype. If that's what the kids like, the kids are in it. Looking forward to see what Bully can get it done in the ring here. Oh, and off comes oh. the, the wig. Oh, come on. Do you know that wig was handed down from three generations to Zachary Beaulieu? Well, the wig is now in possession of Tim Lennox. Let's see what, oh, oh, come on. Such disgrace. Just giving him, yeah. There we go, he's, he's, he's flossing with the wig. Oh. Flossing with the wig. How can you condone this, Nelson? I'm not condoning, I'm just describing what happens here, Jeff. This is gonna cause an incident with Quebec. Yeah, definitely, uh, yeah, an international incident. I'm sure you'll be on the front lines of Jeff. Right, now, hand the wig back. See, he's a gentleman, you see. He does give him his property back. He just wants to uh, maybe, you know, mark it a little, give it a little extra scent. I can hand you my dirty laundry. doesn't mean I like you. All right, well, Tim Lennox looking to uh, play a little psychological warfare here at the start, hoping to throw uh, the Frenchman off his game. Let's see uh, what he can do <laughs> in the ring. Yeah, I hope he's going to be moshing back. He's got to give him some space. A man like Zachary Beaulieu has to prepare for a match. He has to be ready for it. He needs a little bit of space here. Zachary Beaulieu calling for it. There you go. Right there. He's showing Slam Dance Tim Lennox exactly what a wonderful dance is. I don't think you'll be seeing that at a Rage Against the Machine concert, but... Oh, <laughs> Beaulieu from behind. You know, Zachary Beaulieu took 21 years of dance lessons, and he learned that move there, too. Now here's the aggressive side. Like I said, don't let the the, the uh, pageantry fool you with the with the outfit, <laughs> and the homage to his uh, French heritage. Showing a mean streak there, but Tim Lennox having none of it. <laughs> he eats a left hand, then another one. Such loud noise is such an insult to Monsieur Beaulieu. And a kick to the stomach curbs that momentum again. Throwing his head into the turn. Oh no, I guess he's used to that. <laughs> Just when you're a headbanger like him, the turnbuckle doesn't really hurt. Yeah. They bull you head first. <laughs> when there's a for sale vacant lot sign on your head, none of those moves in the corner are going to have any effect on you. Bull you being sent pillar to post on the turnbuckle. Number four. 
Such disrespect. Absolute disrespect, Nelson. Bullyu is reeling. Ha! A powder to the outside. And that right there, that's where somebody like Bolia is is incredibly intelligent. Why would you stay in the ring with such nonsense, such loud noise, such ignorance, when you can go outside and have a nice seat, take a powder perhaps, a time for a bit of wine and cheese, and he'll be ready to come back in this match when he says he's ready. I think he did it just to save his bacon. Lennox is building up quite the momentum there, and uh, definitely good job. Bacon? Do you think a man like him eats bacon? Nelson, do you know anything about somebody of the culture and class of Monsieur Beaulieu? Saves his croissant? I don't know, Jeff. You got me there. All right, sends him out again. That's why they hate you in San Victoire de Sorel. I don't blame him. I can't even pronounce that. So, Beaulieu taking his time, trying to recover here. Now, Lennox, I would like to see him just go after I don't like to see momentum being stalled here, so he's following the Beaulieu's trap here. Mm. And I think Beaulieu knows that. Beaulieu has gone outside of the ring. He knows that Tim Lennox is not going out after him. Gives him a chance to recoup, get back in the ring, start fresh. Yeah, he could, he could, uh, learn to, he could live to regret that if he uh, oh, pulls him in the hard way, has him draped. You see a draping bulldog, perhaps? Or no, he's just going to keep him here. I don't think that's an official tap out, but no, oh, it drops him on his face. No, I think he was pleading with the referee. He's got a five count. He's in the ropes. He should have been breaking that move. Once no, again, no. it shows you that the referees are biased against great competitors in the game. Well, I will give you credit there, Jeff. His feet were draped on the ropes. There should have been a five count there. It's about time you agree with me. Yeah, it's a, ra it's a rarity. I'm going to go back to the mayor of San Victoire de Sorel. I'm going to say, you know what? Nelson might not be, you know, 5% bad. I, 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 I don't need uh, your help there, Jeff. All right. So, oh, chop right on the outside, sitting with the crowd echoing through the King Center. And Tim Lennox has finally gone outside. I think he may be starting to clue in that Beaulieu was outsmarting him the entire match. And again, on the outside, it's dangerous territory. There's no mats out there, no protection whatsoever. And Lennox drags him in. Rally the crowd behind him as he takes on this newcomer. I am impressed so far. Definitely showing a, a flair for the mind games and definitely knows how to slow the pace down, Jeff. Beaulieu is a fantastic competitor, Nelson. He doesn't do anything with a half effort. He is 100% involved. And when you come from the blood, the, the culture, the history that Beaulieu does, you, that's how you that's how you work. That's how you roll. Beaulieu now getting the, the offense. kids would say. Well, you know, getting the offense started. He avoided that spear in the corner. Maybe he'll work on that left shoulder. He hit quite hard on the ring apron. And now it's his turn uh, to return the favor on Lennox on the outside. Oh, there we go. Working on the left arm. <laughs> getting trapped on around the steel post. He's got to be careful. Could dislocate something. Could pop something out. Well, you now all oh, with a modified <laughs> Cobra clutch around the post. Beautiful technique there, I'm very impressed. He's absolutely sending a message to Tim Lennox. Beaulieu is slowly making sure that he feels every bit of pain. And that's intentional, Nelson. Great corner work there, great using the ring. Uh, homage to the, uh, almost like the Bret Hart figure four around the post. Cobra clutch now with the foot on the throat. Now he will have a five count here, Jeff. And he can use the full five count because he listens to the referee I'm like Tim Lennox. And you know what? I, I, I met with Beaulieu. I went up to his house. We had a fantastic time. He said he was looking forward to coming to the, down to the francophone paradise that was New Brunswick. But I spoke to him earlier today. And he was disappointed at all the ugly, smelly mirror machines. Oh, come on. And they got a great hangman's neck breaker there with the arm around the throat again. <laughs> Cover. Too. I like I was working on the throat, working on the shoulder. Almost like a guillotine-like maneuver, which reminds me of that minor incident they had in France. Yeah, footnote in history. Right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. All it's right. the inconvenient time he called it, I think, when we were sipping on some wine. All right, boy, you jaw jacking with the ref there. I don't know if he uh, set it for a slow count, but uh, definitely he needs to focus on it. Slam Dance Tim Lennox. He can't let him recover. We've seen uh, Slam Dance fight before, and he's a great competitor, tough as nails. All but a great running drop kick. Great elevation without a lot of momentum either. <laughs> And you know what, Beaulieu, he is a man who likes to educate people. When he was talking to the ref, he was probably asking the ref to count en français, un, deux, trois. Well, we are a bilingual country, so I can't fault him there. And he's with the lax today, so we'll cover here. Not much leverage, too. And he could, he could regret that. He was kind of showboating there with the cartwheel <laughs> earlier. Well, it's just showing the athleticism that he has. This man has a wonderful pedigree. Took the finest glasses, had the best instructors. Well, he's definitely showing his uh, education in the ring. Oh, look at that, manipulating. Oh, got him trapped in the steel post there. Has his hand through the ring. Oh, his whole shoulder and arm are exposed. I don't, I don't like this, Jeff. Oh, kick to the hand. Oh, 
broken some fingers there. And just twisting the joints. The, the, the fingers are not supposed to bend that way. Those are the kind of moves that you learn on the mean streets of San Victoire de Sode. That's why you shouldn't go there. It wouldn't last a minute. I would need you as a tour guide, I take it. Well, they like me there. They'll let me go anywhere. You, they'll block with the gate. All right. Working on the arm. Oh, nice and Zaguri using the momentum after being uh, caught by that punch there. But he's staying up, Nelson. A little rattled, but you can see right there, that's where the experience comes in. He, you know what I think of that. A little rattled. He was on spaghetti legs and hits the flop. He is down. This is Tim Lennox's time to build some momentum. I don't like this. You know what? I, I, don't, like, I don't like him being in the ring with Slime Dance Tim Lennox. I, personally, this is an insult. I'm insulted by this. You should be insulted by this, too. The fans, well, they have no sense of pride whatsoever. They don't feel insults. I'm not insulted at all. This has been a great competitive match. Oh, runs into the corner. Chest first. Tim Lennox has his chance. Nice. It's a mosh pit maneuver here. Just slam it into him. It's complete disregard for any kind of respect. And a nice big shoulder block. Takes him down hard. Tim Lennox needs to capitalize. Cover. One, two. Kick out by Bullyu. He didn't get any legs there. I think he's favoring his arm a bit there, Nelson. He couldn't hook the leg, and Bullyu was able to easily kick it. Oh, his arms and fingers definitely feeling numb. Definitely uh, feeling a lot of pain. Uh, Bullyu showing some great focus on the injured limb there. He cuts him off at the pass. Let's see what's going to happen here. Tim Lennox off the on the second rope. See what he does. Flying shoulder tackle, but using the bad shoulder, a little bit of self-sacrifice there. I gotta Hopefully that won't cost him. Mm -hmm. I gotta wonder if that's gonna hurt him down the line, Nelson. Cover, one, two, yeah, couldn't hook the leg because of the arm. Beaulieu has targeted his arm, he's doing meticulous work on it, and he is just waiting for the opportunity to capitalize on it. Definitely played a factor there, striking him with his own injured shoulder. You gotta fear that it might popped out of place, couldn't hook the leg on the cover. That arm, that injured arm is paying dividends for Beaulieu. He could have, he might have been finished off earlier. Oh, now setting him up, double underhook. Oh, oh the beautiful. Once again, back to the arm, Nelson. The jumping arm breaker. And this is why I'm so incredibly impressed with Bolivia. Devastating maneuver, just, just could have popped the joint there, lining up the kneecap, lining up the patella with the elbow. Sets him up for a neck breaker. They're trying to finish him off. Hooks oh, the no. arm. What's Lennox doing? Pulls him over, oh, no. backslide, one, two. Three, he got him. No, 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 no. This, this didn't happen, Nelson. This, this, no, no, no. no. Jeff, you're, uh, I'm sorry, but you're BFF. Well, you just got his first loss in his first match at NWE. They are, they are going to be angry at Civic Club so to get back tonight. I, I sense that people will be in the streets in the entire province of Quebec for this complete travesty of Justin Nelson. I'm not even convinced that was a three camp. I think that was a two. I'm sorry, Jeff, you have to drown your sorrows in a ball of Merlot. Be it as it may, slam dance. Tim Lennox has gotten the victory over the debuting Zachary Beaulieu. Stay with us, folks. We'll be right back with more NWE action. Centennial.